Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup, Part 100. Oh god, we're gonna have as many videos of this as we did Forza 4, aren't we? Uh, anyways, next race, Bush Series, Richmond. I'm gonna suck ass here, probably, because it's a Bush race, but hey, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, first, we have to do a heckin' uh, autograph signing session. I've already fucked up the first one. Oh shit. Off to a great start, let me tell ya. Uh -huh. So, yeah, Richmond. I'm probably not gonna do well in this race. I didn't really drive the car well in qualifying. I kinda rust very rusty at Richmond and forgot how like weird I have to approach turn three. Break in early and throw in the car down the bottom like well before the turn. Holy shit, holy shit. Okay, 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 I'm getting confused. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I completely lost all brain functionality there in those like last 20 autographs. Holy fuck. Anyways, to the track. EA Sports and the Richmond International Raceway would like to welcome you to tonight's NASCAR Bush Series race. Perfect conditions on the track tonight as these drivers ready themselves for some short track racing here at Richmond. Look for lots of passing and plenty of close calls as these drivers race for a position early on. The green flag is only minutes away. Let's go trackside now for the most famous words in all of racing. Okay, so yeah, I qualified 18th. Decent qualifying. But, uh, of course that doesn't mean my race pace is going to be good. As we've learned throughout this entire LP. So, plus I'm starting on the outside, so I can't wait to go wide and turn one, end up three wide, and just fucking have all kinds of problems. I'm hoping that's not what happens, but knowing me, I'm just probably that's exactly what's gonna happen. So, anyways, away we go. 62 laps around Richmond in our bush cars, and I'm actually gonna get to the jump onto the bottom lane almost immediately. Kyle really aggressive there in the turn one. Wanted to get around me, but hey. He made the move work, and I managed to keep my car planted on the bottom of the track, so we're good. <clears throat> so, good start. Now, what's my race pace going to be here, at least for the first couple laps? You know, when I actually have grip in my tires. So far, pretty good. I'm battling Kenny Wallace for 18th, who's probably thinking of his wife's big titties. <clears throat> oh, someone's blown up immediately. It looks like Junior, everyone on the inside is stopping. They're still stopping, holy shit. It was Junior blown up. Hornaday apparently doesn't know how to take evasive actions. Jesus Christ, Ron. Well, that made that one fantasy driver very angry at me. I was thinking, okay, the line's gonna move on here. No porn days, just like fucking breaks. <clears throat> I need to use them. Just thank you for that, Ron. Probably gonna lose a couple tenths now by like a half second or something in pit lane for repairs. Not that it's probably gonna matter, but another thing to think about. Once that time comes in this race. See, I think that's the second DNF for Junior here in like five races or however many races I've done in the, tonight in this recording session. Or however many Bush races, I should say. I know he's had two DNFs in tonight's stream. Which started with the truck race at Old Spice, if that gives you any context. If you're watching this in the future, when it actually goes up as a proper LP segment. <clears throat> the one thing that Junior uh, Incident definitely did was cause some separation in the field. It's not all piled together, and holy fuck, big drift into turn three. He did win the last race, so... First to last in uh, less than a week for Junior. 
Looks like this race is taking place either five or six days after the our last race at uh, California. That's it. <clears throat> Well, I think the 135 in the lead, I think that's, what, who is that? Dwayne the Rock Borland, I think. As I have dubbed him. Ah. Driving like garbage. Need to actually settle into the rhythm here. I was kind of getting it after that junior incident while I was catching Hornaday. Then I just lost it. So let's try to regain this rhythm here. complete here at Richmond. And my nose and throat is all like mucusy now. Help. Disgusting sounds. Oh my god. Don't mind me just blowing my tires to Timbuktu. Why are my tires wearing so quickly, meanwhile? I seem to have completely forgotten how to enter turn 3. Over the course of these past 10 laps. Hooray for me! Hi Kenny, how you doing? I was not expecting that move. Welp. Who's ready for fuel strategy? I'm gonna pin that one on me. Like, yeah, Kenny went for the dive, but, you know. I, uh, also moved down on him. So, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna pit. Take a little wedge out. Eh. <coughs> Might as well, uh, do this stupid strategy. <coughs> that won't work, but hey, whatever. Might as well go for it. I got nothing to lose. Let's go. So I go from uh, 16th to last place with that pit stop. Hey, I don't care. I'm going to try the old stupid fuel strategy game. Will I be able to go fifth or uh, 45 laps on a full tank? Probably not. But. Worth a shot, I guess. Oh, it's especially not happening. Nobody pitted here, so. Yeah, this ain't happening. I was about to say, why am I in 42nd? Who's out of the race? And I remember Junior blew up. About that. See if I can maybe gain some spots here. I think this is one of those situations where I'd probably, uh, I'd probably end up back here anyways, so might as well go with a stupid strategy to see if I can get a better finish. <clears throat> I 
Because I'm all about them stupid strategies, yo. How many times have I done this fuel mileage strategy in Bush series? This is at least like my fifth time. It's only succeeded once. But this is like my fourth or fifth time trying it. <clears throat> oh god. Hello Mr. Orang. How you doing? Why you slow down so much? I see why you slow down so much, because cars entering pit lane. The whole accordion. From cars slowing down in front of them. Didn't we have, like, a strong alliance with Orang at some point? Like, earlier in the season? I wonder what happened to that. Oh well. Get on the brakes. Try to dive underneath the whatever this is. I was going to say the sad bear, but that's definitely... Okay, fine. Run me to the grass. And he gained two spots from that on the apron. Wow. Fucking blocking me, running me to the grass, ends up going on the apron, turn one and two, just gains two spots like that. How the fuck are you doing? <laughs> The superior artificial intelligence group. <laughs> Cheater. I mean, the apron isn't out of bounds in this on this track, so you know, it's all fair game. around the Orang finally as well as a couple other cars that have lost it brought out god damn it son of a bitch all right now question do I pit will the caution give me enough uh So if I don't, I'll restart in the lead, but I'll get swallowed whole. Fuck it, we're going for it. I don't care. I care slightly, but I don't care. Yay, we got five points for leading the lap. Alright, so. Screw it. I'm not gonna pit. We at halfway. All these cars lap down. And we in the lead. Throw everyone else making pit stops. Fuck! Damn it! Made some light contact with Martin and then everything else goes wrong. Son of a bitch. Come on, let me let me down the bottom. There we go. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> let's calm things down a bit here. This has been a very terrible race for me. I mean, I've spun twice. One of them was on my own. Of course, one of them was moving down on Kenny, but still. I have to say, if I am able to make it all the way to the end of the race, my tire is going to be completely dead. I'll probably end up at the back of the field anyways. Just because I'll have absolutely no grip whatsoever. Let's <clears throat> do a share graph here because I can. Oh, don't hit the wall, just a very light, very light touch. 
the lightest touch. Excuse me, Gene. Did not mean to uh, make contact there. Plus, no punterino me. Man, turn three re entry is hard. Oh, come on. Didn't have enough grip on the exit. Car was understeering. Oh, look at Mr. Fucking Dive Bomb here. Holy shit. It wasn't even for a position, he just wanted to do the Dive Bomb. Get around my bitch ass. Alright, well, halfway on fuel. Let's see, I was supposed to go like, what, 30 some laps? About that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to uh, pit one more time. <laughs> Whoops. Should have came in under the caution, oh well. I'm not smart. As this race is obviously sh proving. This is definitely my worst race in terms of like actual driving and strategy calls in a long time. Easily. <coughs> oh, hello, Casey. Good, everything's fine. Down to sixth. Bring it down. Actually, I don't know. I'm trying to like redo the math in my head. I might have enough fuel. See, I had like 47 laps, I think. Although, even with the aid of that caution, I still have to go another 22 laps on this half tank, so I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Might be going to the line on the smell of an oily rag here. <clears throat> that is, as long as I don't spin again. Jesus Christ, Ashton. See that fucking airtime he got. Or the whatever the hell bump he ran over. That was pretty impressive. Oh, the tire's absolutely gonna be dead. That's, that's a no-brainer. Like... I'm already losing grip. <clears throat> Roll it, cause chaos. I don't want to do that though. I want to have an actual race, not stupid. Just a big old pile of stupid. If you want a big old pile of stupid, watch the first fucking Bush Red Ball race that I won. That was a big old pile of stupid. Fourteen to go. And we'll get that one back. Let's see who was that? Oh, it's Tiny Buchanan. Like I know this guy has a one of the other good names, so I couldn't remember his name. It's Tiny. Just blocked the brakes a little bit, may have caused some contact behind me. And you can tell I'm already holding these guys up a lot. 
Whoa, shit. Low fuel. With 12 to go. I don't think I got enough. Pretty sure I don't have enough. Hello, Kenny. Front is worn. <laughs> Imagine naming your child Tiny. What awful parents. Fucking Yaley determined to get underneath me. Oh shit, hi, how you doing? Nope, Kyle. I, I take the bottom. You're gonna have to pass me on the outside, boy. <clears throat> oh, there he goes around the outside. Easy. Oh jeez. Losing grip, cars over, steering a lot, under braking. There you go, all clear. Oh, did I mention cars over steering a lot? Hamilton being that close to my rack bumper also didn't help. Meanwhile, Martin has pulled the fuck away from everyone else. A very big lead. Hey guys, guess who has to pit? And guess who's gonna finish 42nd? Not me, that's what you want to think. Oh shit. Yeah, five to go and fuel tank's almost empty, so I only have like a lap of fuel left. That was worth a shot, I guess. Just cause why not? At least try to make this race semi-interesting. So let's get a half can of fuel. I just put it on that second spin, but no, I gotta be stupid and try to do stump shit. And 41st, so not quite last of the car still running. Here comes Harvick, who I'm assuming is in 42nd. Actually, no, he's definitely not in 42nd. Is he in 42nd? No, he isn't, okay. I was gonna say, there's no way Harvick is in fucking 42nd. Would I hate you if you put a 2JZ in my Viper? No. I don't give a shit about engine swaps, put whatever the fuck you want in it. Put a 4 rotor in it for all I care. Hey, Martin wins the race. Right behind me. By a fucking lot. And there we go. 41st at Richmond. 
thanks to some Ferrari tier strategy. Oh well. It's fine. So, Mark Martin takes the win. 2.8 seconds over Jason Keller. Nice. I was like, just kind of stopped existing for a second there. But uh, here are the results of the race. There's two cautions caused by me and my stupidity and my inability to drive a car. And there I am, down in 41st. Oh, Mike Bliss was two laps down somehow. Okay. Fucking Junior blowing up on lap three. Blowing up. Blowing up. Poor Junior. So that was a bad race. Perfect for our 100th segment. Haha. -ha. Uh. Oh, jeez. But there we go. There's that. So let's just check out the updated Bush Point standings. Hamilton's now only 11 points ahead of Hornaday. So that's tightening up a bit. And am I still in 20th? Yes, I am. I'm still 90 points ahead of Hammock. So, hooray. But that'll conclude this segment. That sure was a... That sure did happen. So, uh, next time, we're going to stay at Richmond, but we're going to go trucks in. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>